So you bought your first Bitcoin and you've come to the correct conclusion that you're going to store your Bitcoin where only you have access to it. My name's Darren. I'm going to show you the best beginner Bitcoin wallet and the features that might even make it one of the best Bitcoin wallets out there. We're going to cover why it's important. We're going to cover why it's better, how to use it, and the features that come along with it. So if you know the importance of a Bitcoin wallet and you just want to know the blue wallet app review, um, just skip to the timestamps below. If you are new to Bitcoin, the first step is buying some Bitcoin. The second most important step is taking that Bitcoin and holding it off an exchange and putting it somewhere exponentially more safe. The famous Mt. Gox hack happened around seven years ago where a whole exchange was hacked and everyone lost their Bitcoin. This was when Bitcoin was around $800. So you could imagine how much Bitcoin or wealth was lost in that specific attack. So the best approach is for you to hold Bitcoin where no one else can get it. And this is what a Bitcoin wallet is for. It's a software that allows you to manage your own keys to your funds that even the software can't get into. Only you have access, no one else around the world does. Now I made previous videos on where to store Bitcoin, the pros and cons to each different custodial solution. Um, so go check that out if you're interested in that. So this is a review of Blue Wallet. And Blue Wallet is the best Bitcoin beginner's wallet in my opinion. Blue Wallet is a hot wallet, meaning it is a software device that is installed on a phone or computer. So Blue Wallet is a Bitcoin only wallet. It's fully open source, meaning the code is viewable and verifiable for all of its users across the world. So if the company ever goes away, um, the code will always be there and it's a good backup plan to have versus another wallet that may have a closed code and you don't know what's going on behind the scenes of your Bitcoin and all of your transactions. So besides um, Blue Wallet's very simple to use UI, it actually gives you a ton of features to upgrade to professional levels of security, professional levels of use cases. Today I'm gonna to show you the mobile app. You can get this on the Google Play Store, the iOS Store, um, or download it for desktop on Mac OS right now. So this is Blue Wallet. I'm gonna show you how to use it on an iPad today and set it up. Okay, first step is you're going to add a wallet and it's going to give you three options. So you got a Bitcoin wallet, a Lightning wallet, and a Vault. So the typical one you're going to use is the Bitcoin wallet. The Lightning wallet is a place for fast, instant transactions that are very low fees. So if you're buying a coffee, if you're buying something that's really cheap and you need it done now, Lightning is for you. Vault is the best security for large amounts. This means it is multi-signature. So you're going to need multiple devices in order to send your Bitcoin around. So what we're gonna do is create a Bitcoin wallet. This is your 12 word seed phrase. You need to write all of these words down. It's the only way you can get into this wallet if you were to ever lose this device or delete the app. So you must write these down on paper. Do not keep them on the cloud because if anybody ever hacks into your cloud, um, it's a lot easier for them to steal all of your funds. If you put it on paper, they're gonna have to steal that piece of paper and know what these 12 words mean. So what we're gonna do is click on our wallet first. And here in our wallet, we can change what we want to see. Do we want to see the dollar amount? Do we want to see the Bitcoin amount? Do we want to see the Satoshi's amount? And this is the 100, 100 millionth of a Bitcoin is one Satoshi. So here in our transactions, the first step we want to do is if we've already bought Bitcoin on an exchange, we want to move it here. So after we bought Bitcoin on exchange, we come back here and we're going to press receive. Then you will get your receiving address here. So if you have a separate device, you can always scan this barcode and send it to there. If not, always copy and paste your address. Never type this out. So copy this. And Blue Wallet is great because it changes your address every time you use it. So it's called a change address. And this is great for security purposes because if you go to an exchange and you send all of your money to one address, that exchange and whoever has access to that exchange will know exactly how much Bitcoin you have and your privacy 
is gone. So this is a good easy privacy technique for everyone to use. So what we're going to do is go to our exchange account and what I'm going to do because this is a second device I'm going to scan and I will scan my address and then I can decide how many Bitcoin I want to send. Um, right now I don't have any <laughs> um, but uh, I'm going to make that happen soon. Now if we wanted to send Bitcoin out of this wallet we would do the same. Paste somebody else's address into here. We can also make notes to this and send it with customizable fees which you don't see a lot on a lot of wallets so you can send fast slow medium speed you can also receive bitcoin by pressing receive with amount so technically this is an invoicing system for bitcoin so you can also do lightning wallets and um, we're not going to get into that today but this is essentially micro transactions that can be verified in seconds the one problem with Blue Wallet is the Lightning Wallet is a custodial wallet. So when you're using this Lightning Wallet, you actually, Blue Wallet actually holds your funds. Um, right now, um, there's very few non custodial Lightning Wallets out there. But I mean, if you're only going to, you know, have 20, 10 bucks in at a time, and I'm willing to risk that for the convenience. Kind of general settings is you can continue this on multiple um, different devices. You're Currency, you can set to anything you'd like. And security, I definitely recommend you encrypt it with passwords. And it does accept fingerprint scanning on certain devices. So that's the basics of the Blue Wallet. Other features of the Blue Wallet, really cool, you can create multiple wallets within that app. Um, so you could have like a savings account, you can have a view only wallet. Um, what I'd like to use this for is maybe I have a business Bitcoin account and I have my personal Bitcoin account and I can kind of keep those separate um, in different wallets. They also they also have a cool feature called plausible deniability. Um, so this allows you to set up a different password um, which would lead you to a fake wallet. And this is for any situation where somebody comes and force you to give you the Bitcoin in person. Um, it's got it's got a lot of other features. I mean, batch transactions support with some of the best hardware wallets in the industry, from Cold Car to Cobalt Vault, and a bunch of different higher end Bitcoin usage stuff. But we're not going to get into that right now because uh, this is about the best beginner wallet, and it has all those features for you to upgrade in the future. But super easy for you to get started right away. If you want a quick place for you to compare all the wallets, you can click the link below to my Twitter. I just posted a website where I create a full beginner's guide uh, for you from start to finish on what products you should use, where you should store your Bitcoin, um, and all the features you need to do to get through and make sure you're completely confident moving forward. So thanks again.